Hi, I'm Hank Green. I'm the creator of SciShow, a show on the internet where we explore the ways the universe works. We talk a lot on SciShow about different experiments and what scientists can learn from them. And one thing I really like about brain teasers is they're a way for you to become a scientist yourself and test out your powers of prediction. So let's head to the lab and check out the balancing nail puzzle. When you first look at this brain teaser, it seems pretty simple. You got 12 iron nails and a plastic stand. Take one nail out, poke it into the plastic stand. Now your challenge is to balance the other 11 nails on top of that nail. How do you think you're gonna do it? You can take a few minutes, pause, try things out. What about one of these? Okay, I got one. Seems unlikely that I'm gonna get a second on there. I'm about to show you the solution now. If you don't wanna know yet, pause the video, keep trying things out, see if you can figure it out. All right, here's the solution. First, set one nail down on the table or a flat surface of any kind. Uh, we'll call that nail number one, that's your support nail. Next, hook the head of a second nail against number one to form a sort of L shape here. Then hook the head of a third nail onto nail number one, but point it in the opposite direction as nail number two. Nails two and three should be separated by about the width of a nail head, so your structure will look like a capital T. This is your basic pattern. Keep adding more nails to nail number one like this, alternating sides each time. When you're done, you should have five nails pointing one way and four pointing the other. Finally, put nail number 11 on top of all of the nails pointing the opposite way as nail number one. Then carefully pick up your structure by picking up the ends of nails one and 11 together. If you are very careful and very gentle, you should be able to place this one nail on the stand. 11 nails! Oh, balanced on one nail. This brain teaser is tricky because it requires a lot of creative thinking, but it's all based on one main idea. Gravity. Gravity is what pulls things down to the ground. It pulls on every part of you and every part of a nail. But sometimes you can think of it as only pulling on one central spot. This spot is called the center of gravity. If something is symmetrical, basically it looks the same as its mirror image, like a tennis ball, its center of gravity will be right in the middle of the object. If something isn't symmetrical and has a strange shape like a pile of nails, the center of gravity will be closer to the heavier end of the object. When we built our nail tower, we set it up so that the center of gravity for the nail structure was close to the place it touched the nail stuck into the plastic base. So even if you thought it might look unbalanced, its center of gravity was still supported, and thus it did not fall down. 